My name is JJ Saudi Gear. I'm a point guard. I'm class of 2028, and I play with CP3 Elite. JJ, I see your ass flying around like that all, all year. Good, dog. Good up, My goal for basketball is to make the NBA, make money playing basketball, and doing what I love. <laughs> we put in the work so that he deserves to perform well. I feel that what he's experiencing right now is a direct result of the work. Everybody that knows us knows we live in the gym. My goal is to win the championship, to, uh, lead my team to wins, get better, uh, get looks in college and high school. Yeah. Last year it was a tough loss. We lost by a buzzer beater. It was heartbreaking. We was undefeated to the championship. Crazy. Point guard, and I can get to my shots anytime I want to, and I can also pray for my teammates. I want to make the NBA because of my dream. Uh, I just, I just love basketball. For day one of made hoops, I feel like I did pretty well. We lost, but you no, know, we bounced back. I had 25 points. I was getting to my spots. Um, I was creating for my teammates, but we came out with the loss, so no matter. Okay, MJ's back here with you guys. The beautiful thing is dad watching JJ excel, you know? Um, I think for me as dad, because I played, I think it's some, it just have a different mindset. I truly understand it's about performance, and that's what I instilled in JJ. Um, we, we put in the work so that he deserves to perform well, and I feel that what he's experiencing right now is a direct result of the work. You know, everybody that knows us knows we live in the gym. What's going to separate me from all these other athletes is me being vocal, playing defense, yeah. Things I do behind the scenes is working out every morning, I go to physical therapy, I do cold plunge and sauna, and then I just work hard.
on, together on three, together on three, CP3. Yeah. Uh, what motivates me to do what I do is my family. Sacrifices they make to drive to, me, to tournaments for me, um, paying for all my hotels, yeah, everything. I could definitely not do this without my family. Y'all gotta understand, that team, they weren't bad, but they really weren't good enough to take advantage of our mistakes. So we gotta just make sure, man, that we value possession. Bro, y'all not gonna tell me that y'all didn't see the difference in us sharing the basketball yeah, stage. Good extra pass. Y'all not gonna Clap tell it me that. Clap it up for y'all, man. Sure, Clap it up for y'all, man. Great job, man. And, uh, and JJ, I ain't seen your ass flying around like that all, week, all year. You need it. All right, y'all keep flying around, bro. Y'all keep making plays on defense, and it just, it just, it just helps your offense. We good on that? Everybody keep bringing what they bring. All right, we're gonna come out of here with another win. Here in a little bit, okay? But y'all get off your feet, bro. We right back at it. Get done, man. Great win. Great win. Together on three. Together on three. Super three. Yeah. The things that I'm doing better from, from this year, um, I'm getting to my spots more. I'm shooting it well at a high percentage, and I'm creating for my teammates. The other point guard, uh, I knew him since like the first grade, so I've been, I was playing with him for a long time, and then I moved to Cali, but then I moved back, so I'm playing with him again. So me and, have, me and him have good chemistry. So what I think I need to work on this, uh, this season is leadership and leading my teammates and putting them in the right position to score and also defense. I want the world to know I'm a young, handsome, young man that plays basketball, gets good grades. I'm a ladies man and I get things done. That's good. You're that's, a ladies man? That's 17 good. 17 years old. No, you're not going to be.
Right now, we're in Nashville, Tennessee. We came to watch Kentucky, and we're watching the SEC tournament. Play professionally in Europe, um, really, really good experience doing that. A lot of relationships built from that, um, and that that's what led to what I'm doing now. You know, uh, just helping kids, helping families, uh, giving them advice, helping them navigate this recruiting process, NIL, building their brands, um, building the business. Exciting times ahead. Exciting times ahead. Is this your type of seed or not? <laughs> so far, this week we've been walking around, checking out the places. Uh, great place to be. We checked out the SEC activities. We walked by Broadway. Broadway is like the Vegas of the East Coast. It's been a great time. wise family, you know, um, building generational wealth. Um, I think I was blessed growing up. My grandfather really instilled in me just hard work, work ethic, you know. Um, got to earn what you get, got to work for it. So um, for me, it's, it's really helping people, educate people on the business of sport, um, learn the business, know your business. And, and truly uh, just empowering them to know that leverage, you know. Uh, it's impactful, it's, it's, it's a powerful thing. It's, it's truly uh, changing the trajectory of generations to come. So what'd you get, JJ? Fries and a burger. Um, okay. What'd you rock with more, Shake Shack or In-N-Out? In-N-Out. I haven't had In-N-Out in a long time though. You RJ, what do you like better, In-N-Out or Shake Shack? I'd rather have In-N-Out. In-N-Out? Uh, okay. What's the most? We out here in Tennessee. I had to come see my boy Rob play. He finna get to it. Who are they playing? Uh, they're playing Texas A&M. Oh, yeah. JJ in Nashville at the SEC tournament. Check out Lyle Dillingham. He's on camera how I'm sunny him. Sorry, JJ. My son. My son. Except for Rob, he's like a big brother to me. I look up to him in various ways. I like studying his game. I like studying the moves he does. And I also like the way he carries himself. <laughs> Similarities between me and Rob we're both very shifty. We can create our own shots. And we can also get our teammates involved.
Yeah, some of the values I want to still in JJ again, we've been doing that through um, through skill development, through basketball. I think basketball is are, are just there's so many life lessons in, in all sports. We haven't talked about what you want or what the family needs and all of that, so mm -hmm. that's real. Hey, say what's up to JJ, bro. Up, fam. Sorry. Gonna do this interview. Right, like, <laughs> like, bro. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Crazy, bro. Yeah. All right, that's a bet, then, brother. We tap in. Love you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The experience I'm having around all these high-level players, very fun, really inspiring. Uh, I watch them, you know, and I see how hard they work. They work to get to that level, and I want to be there with them too. What do you think he needs to work on? Um, I think he needs to work on um, sprinting. Um, all the way from court to go guard your man instead of vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys say about that? What did you say about that? You no, know, basketball being what we do the most, um, there's so many values that are already instilled in JJ. Hard work, uh, being able to communicate and work with others, uh, helping others, you know, um, understanding you know, uh, how to be selfless. Uh, I think that's a, a powerful thing, how to be a leader. Um, these are all things that I think we've instilled in JJ uh, through the game of basketball as, as parents, uh, as a dad, uh, being able to be trusted, you know, um, being able to be uh, somebody people can count on. Uh, that's what uh, I would hope that JJ continues to do. And, just touch a lot of people and impact their lives for the better.